Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how you can able to download all the files of your all the workspace at one time from Poppy service. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. First of all, I want to tell you that it is not a tedious process. You don't need any programming language for that. With this very few lines of code, you can download all your files from your workspace at one time. So first of all, you need to use the PowerShell. You have to run this in administrator mode. So PowerShell and run as administrator. And then you have to type this one find module name powershell git and click enter it will install these features here if it is something is missing over there it will ask you like this nuget provider is required to continue so powershell git request nuget provider version this is so you want to install it or not so i'm just installing it here and then you have to install module name microsoft power bi management so these two steps you have to do at the very first time if you are doing this if you are doing it on repeated basis then these two steps is not required once you try to install this one it will give this message like it is going to install here and you want to install it or not yes then it will install the package on your system and then you have to type login dash power bi space hyphen environment is public once you type this one and then click and then press enter then it will open up a pop-up window you have to sign in with your microsoft power bi account but make sure that user has access to all the reports like bill permission so once you do that it will give this three line environment public tenant id and then your username and this is the script so don't worry about it it's a simple thing so i'll just guide you one by one the first row i have taken here i'm just declaring it a value power bi workspace list equal to get dash power bi workspace this is small code this will get all the power bi workspaces inside to your user in this list and then I'm just look through the workspace. What are the workspaces available here? So for each bracket, the workspace, I'm declaring it here in the same workspace list. It will look one by one workspace. And then I'm just declaring the folder name here. This D colon all power field, I have created it the folder manually. Plus I'm just taking this workspace dot name because whatever the workspace it has it is creating one folder inside to that power all pbi files it will create a separate folder with the name of the workspace to create the folder i'm just typing it here new dash item space dash path this is the path here and then item type directory so i'm telling it here to create a folder with the name of the workspace and now I'm just declaring to get the list of Power BI reports equal to get the Power BI report workspace ID equal to the workspace dot ID. So here I'm getting all the names of the workspace. I'm storing it here. And from that, I'm just taking this ID on a loop basis and taking all the reports available inside to that workspace. And then looping through the reports. So inside a workspace, there may be multiple reports over there. So I'm just looping it one by one to download the report. I'm just typing it here, write.host report.name just for me to understand how it is looping it one by one. And the output file here equal to the folder name, which we already declared here, the folder name plus slash the report name. So I'm just telling it to store it over there. So report name, it will tell the exact report name dot pbix file 
I'm just extracting the PBIX file from here. And then if the file exists, delete first, otherwise the export Power BI report will fail. So if I'm just checking it here, if the file the same name already exists on that folder or not, if it is there, so output test path is already there, this is the one, then remove item output file. I'm just removing that one. If it is not, then it will go here, export dot Power BI report dash workspace ID is the workspace ID dash report ID is the report name and then output equal to output file. So from this workspace in this report, I am just exporting it to this location. So once you press enter, then it will loop through like this. So this is the date and time and this is the workspace and these are the reports which you have inside to that workspace. If you get this kind of error, it means the increment data refresh, it is not going to export it from Power BI service. And this is how the final output will look like. And these are the workspaces available inside to my login. And inside to one workspace, it has this much of reports here. So this is crazy, right? With this just simple few steps, you can easily download all the files available inside to your workspace of your Power BI service not only one, the multiple at a time. So you can make a schedule on your task manager in order to work this on a weekly basis or a daily basis to have a backup on your local drive. This is a cool thing, right? So if you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure to turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.